Welcome back to 4W Farms. Today we're going to change out the carburetor on my gator. All right, so we got my, my gator parked here with the tailgate up. Here's the carburetor right here. I should probably clean it off, but we kind of winterized our pressure washer already. But that's what we got to change out. From everything I've gathered online as far as what could be wrong with it, uh, I think during one of the intros of my videos you saw the blue smoke pouring out of it. I'll show you that again here. I gotta work on it. Hopefully we'll make it today. Probably burning up my engine or something. A little smoke mobile. Actually that's the worst I've seen it. So everything I looked up online points towards the carburetor so that's why we're going to change it out. I've got the new one in and we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to start by taking off as many hoses as I can. Get those out of the way. All right. In here. Come on. What? Uh, that's just a. That's overflow. All right. I'll just leave that on there for now. Got a hose here. This is the fuel. Yeah, we get something for that. We either have massive screwdrivers or tiny ones. Never in, in between. Okay, they're studs. I guess I'm gonna block that fuel. Now I just need to get need to get this guy off. like that and then oh yeah This apparently needs to stay with it. Let's connect those two. 
we go. It's off. And here we go. Now we gotta make sure each side's clean and ready for ready for the new gasket without putting any scratches on the metal itself. This side's pretty good, it came off, but the whole gasket is stuck on this other side. All right, found something a little bit more practical. Let's see. I guessed poorly. There we go. We will run some tests on it and see oh, how bad I mess this up. I have no idea how this is going to go. Sounds okay. Let's see if it feels any different. about the gator it's still it's still missing the power uh, the smoking starting to go away I just don't know my power issue might have to order uh, another fuel pump probably do that and uh, go from there so I don't know if I've mentioned this because I've got a gator video where I was working on it a little bit and I don't know I can't remember exactly what I recorded so I just wanted to update 
I was having problems with the carburetor. I put a new carburetor on there and uh, it didn't work. Gas was pouring out of the overflow. Let me see if I can set that up here. So here's the carburetor right here. This is what I changed out. And when I did, gas would just pour out of this overflow on the back side of this carburetor right here. Brand new carburetor and it was, uh, it was choking out. When it would pour that gas out, it was choking out and I wasn't getting any good, uh, any good acceleration. It was just pretty much just like on choke the whole time. So what I did, I ended up taking off the bottom bowl. I ended up taking off the bottom bowl of that carburetor. Let's see if I can show you. There's that bowl right there. I took that off. Now on the inside, there's a float. So on that float, what I did, that float pushes a little a needle, a little piece of metal that uh, goes to a point and it pushes up and stops the, the gas from going to overflow. So what I had to do, I had to bend a piece of that plastic on that float to make it to where when the level was where it was always going, it would push that needle up higher. And when it did, that solved all my issues. Uh, it cranked right up, ran fine. And all it was is on that new float, it just wasn't, I guess they 3D print those floats and just wasn't done very good. So all I do is just bend it a little bit and it fixed all my issues. So now my gator's running perfectly. No more smoke bellowing out the back. Thank goodness, because I was having a rough time putting that water tank, you know, in the back of my truck and driving out there all the time. So I'm glad I was able to fix that. Anyway, that's the gator story. I'll see y'all next time.